Matt Sampson here with meteorologist Nick Wilchin. Nick, when Tropical Storm Karen formed, it already had some pretty significant winds associated with it. Well, that's right, Matt. The Air Force recon plane, which was investigating this disturbance on Thursday morning, was already finding winds of 50 to 60 miles per hour near the surface. And then they found the closed circulation that allowed the National Hurricane Center to go ahead and pull the trigger and call it a full-fledged tropical storm. So it bypassed the depression stage because of those strong winds and went straight to Tropical Storm Karen. So where's this thing headed, Nick? Unfortunately, it's heading northwestward and then eventually northward, and that is going to put it on a beeline for some part of the central or eastern Gulf Coast of the United States. Some of the models keep it weaker and it take it in more into Louisiana. Some models keep it a little bit stronger, and those models curve the storm more toward Alabama or the Florida panhandle. But one way or another, we are going to see at least some rain, and depending on how strong Karen can remain, some wind potentially for parts of the central and eastern Gulf Coast later this week into the weekend.